Hello and welcome to the lecture. So we'll saw about the Restionable SQL through Oracle Apex and we are able to consume the resources from the Apex application and we are able to create a page as well. We consumed it and we are able to fetch the data. So now if you want to test the Restionable SQL using some commands whether the URL is enabled or not you can use some of the methods to test that. The first one which is here, the command which is about the CURL, which is curl, that stands for client URL. And another one is the postman. So coming to curl, here you can see the command where I'm just using my user, the authentication. And it's a post request for the first and this is a library as I said. So from the library and post and with the user you're mentioning the credentials and here you are just using the query this is very important and you're just posting the request and it needs some data that's where the CRL is and then we have to provide the content type as application slash SQL and then this is very important this is where we are using the rest enabled URL where you have seen that up to the schema name and followed by there is a common thing that needs to be included for a CRL and that's for even for the postman that is about slash underscore slash SQL so this has to be done for the command so this will give me the data in the form of some text you have some JSON format and let's see I'm just copying this now and the command prompt is used for Windows and I'm opening that and even in other OS like Mac OS and Linux you will have the bash you can use that and I'm using the CMD so I copy that I'm pasting it and it's pasted I'm running that so it will connect it and here you can see that it's not pretty it's like a minified you can see that it's a json data if you can deeply go through that it's just giving me the country code and even the capital population all data in the form of json object and it's some minified it's not pretty but it still returns me the results that's where even you can give anything it's if you want to see a less data maybe we'll just uh, try to use some other commands like select sys date from dual that would be a good example to get that and i'm just running it and you can see from here maybe we'll just clear that and from start yeah so this gives me the data from that uh, select sys date from dual and it gives me the date here so this is about that thing so even you can do any of the stuffs you want with the thing but the only thing is the content type with the application slash sql and you need to input the content as the sql query that's the main thing here and now this is about crl you just have to give something to get the data that's like fetching the data now coming to postman let's uh, go to that and let me just copy this url first so that I can paste it in the postman. So going to the postman. So in the new tab, you have to put the post request. And I'm pasting that. Rest enabled one is a protector. And you know that we have to give the authentication. So I'm just using the basic auth as usual. And if you remember, I'm giving the workspace username and the password for that. So then I'm just using update request so it just gets added to the header and the same thing with the basic and the token. And now the important thing is about the you know with the respect to the content type we need to put the application slash SQL as we followed in the curl. So it gives me the suggestion I'm just using content type and I'm using application slash it's not JSON it's SQL and uh, if you want to add the query you need to go to the body and here you need to select the raw with the plain text here we can give the query so I'm just using the same select star from EBA countries so I'm just sending it 
and it gives me the pretty json format you can understand this is the same thing written from crr so from the environment with the information about the metadata here and here you can get the column name here and inside following that column headers you will get the items like the country id and the details of the countries so it gives me the select star from eva country is fine even if you do sys date from dual as we saw earlier it will give me the same thing as well and yeah so this is about that okay we are getting an error here maybe i'm not giving the right one okay we are just using from as the wrong one yeah so it gives me the error response as well it's okay so we are just uh, giving it and so we are getting that so with the information the state so this is about the one using the rest enable sql which is enabled in some other database in the oracle and we need to test that we can use this crl and the postman instead of apex and yeah that's one uh, that what apex provides us like a client and you can consume it but if you want to test it as uh, some other sources you can use this as the postman or crl it's your choice